Hi everybody, it's Donna from Donna's DreamWorks.blogspot.com and I told you I had been working on some mini albums and I finally have one finished or as much as I'm going to do on it and so I thought I'd just share the finished product with you. This was done from a tutorial from uh, Kathy over at Paper Phenomenon. I see some glue strings um, and I'll put her blog at the bottom of this posting so that you can all check her out. She does a Ustream class and this was actually the Ustream class that I attended um, and I used the paper line that she suggested but I did not have her kit. I did have the tutorial but not the kit. So let me just show you. I will tell you that this um, has six bags and if I make another one I'm going to use four because there's an awful lot of real estate in this book. In fact, there's so much real estate in this book, it could be a development. So I think the next time I would probably go with just four bags. Um, but let me just show you the rest of the book. This front little pocket uh, folds open so that you can do some journaling and put a little tag in here or a picture. And this whole thing is set to look like... A backpack and you can see it's a nice glittery backpack with the little handles okay and I've used velcro for the closing um, I didn't have any magnets at the time so I used the velcro and we'll open it up and when it opens up we have I call it a shirt collar pocket on this side it's just a corner pocket but the inside is like bent over to look like a shirt looks like a shirt collar and it says flower power and it has a little journaling journaling area and some glittery flowers and this is one of my homemade flowers um, that I love making these uh, especially in the fall because they look like a mum and I love the little seed pearl centers um, I didn't do a tutorial on these because there's a million of them out there but they're really fun to make and easy now I put almost no embellishments in here that were adding extra bulk because it's so bulky on its own. This is the only pullout that actually adds bulk to it because it is a separate little mat that unfolds. And you can put some journaling in here. And then this folds up. And in here we have a composition book. She loves to read. This is my granddaughter. She loves to read so I thought she could jot down the book she's reading. Okay, and another tag here. Now this is a paper bag album and there's so much real estate already that I did not even put tags with the exception of the first one so you can see in the paper bag. Uh, there's just so much going on here. Uh, I, I might still stick them in there before I send it, but we'll see. Okay, then it goes over, and in this page style, you have a little flip down, which is a pocket, a library pocket, and it has a little tag inside there with the journaling area on the back. And then on this one, the tag is just some uh, Versamark with glittery... Um, embossing of some school products like. And over on this side I have a blackboard complete with the chalk. And it really is cute and it really does work. So I think she'll have fun with that. And I'll have to get a towel to wipe that off later. I don't have, oh I do have one here. Wait a minute. To show you that it does come right off. Of course they don't use blackboards anymore, they all use whiteboards. And then this again flips up and there are two small tags in the back with some journaling areas and a big tag down here. And it flips over here and we have two small tags and a little teeny envelope and I'll open this one, there's one on both pages and inside the little envelope is a little teeny tag where you can put your little secret messages in there. Uh, 
And on this side, there's one tag, a journaling carrier, and another one of those little pocket envelopes. Again, another composition book. And these were the three for a dollar composition books you can get in the dollar store. And all I did is take the paper out of it and use the cover as a mat for the pictures and such. And down here we have another tag with an apple on it. Okay, and over on this side, this is our next flip down pocket. We have a tag that says friends over here, and we have a tag in here that's like looks like a pencil that you can put a picture on journaling on. And over here we have the apples with a tag behind it. This flips up, and there's another tag up here, nice big one, and a double matted tag over here. And the only other embellishment that's at all raised is the word friends here. Like I said, there's an awful lot of real estate in here. Okay, now we have just have a glittery, plain glittery page here that you can put some photos on. And over here we have a mat on net some glittery paper nice. And then what I did is take a little corner of it and make a little corner pocket for an additional mat on the front. And then this flips up, and there's a place for a mat in here. I haven't put the mat in there yet, but there is a place right in here for it. Okay. Again, another photo mat in here, a flip down, and a mat in here. A mat over here, a flip up, a mat over here, a mat down here, and the last page, just another plain mat, a very pretty flowery paper, and I didn't even put a pocket on this back uh, cover, which I usually do because I didn't want to make it any fatter than it already was. So that's the album. I'm really pleased with the way it came out. It's the first time I've attempted something like this, uh, this style. The, this is a different kind of a hinge um, binding for me, and I had to take it apart twice in order to make it uh, go together the way I thought it was supposed to. And I'm not sure it's exactly right now, but it's as good as it's going to get. It was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed looking at it, and I hope she enjoys it when she gets it. Thanks for stopping by Donna's DreamWorks.blogspot.com. I wanted to let you know I'm going to be starting a new series for the holidays, um, beginning on Thursdays of each week. I'll be working on some Christmas cards, because before you know it, you have to send them out. I'm an early bird for my Christmas cards, and I send them out uh, the weekend after Thanksgiving, so... I want to make sure I get them going because the holidays will be upon us in less than 100 days. All right, we'll talk to you later. Have a great day afternoon. See you later and play nice. Bye-bye.